Hey guys, it's Coach Mike. I'm going to take you through our plan for the Screaming Eagles team this this spring. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn two really important things. The first thing is where we should be on the ice, what our, playing our position. The other thing is moving the puck forward and passing the puck a lot. So there's a quote here by Wayne Gretzky, the best hockey player that ever lived. And it says, when we play as a team, we all look better as individuals. So when we play as a team this spring, that means we're all going to look better as hockey players and become better hockey players. So let's dig in and see how this works. Have a look at this hockey rink. Can you tell what's different about it? There's something that you don't normally see there. That's right. It's the green train tracks that are running up and down the ice. There's two rules that we need to apply need to follow this spring when we play hockey. We always need two players in the train tracks, at, at least two players in the train tracks, one defense and one forward, no matter where the puck is on the ice. Another thing that will help you is if the puck is not on your side, then you should be in the train tracks. So let's see how this works. So in the defensive end, which is the defensive zone, which is our end, where our goalie is in our net, we'll use our defensive zone coverage until we get the puck in our possession and can break it out. So the blue X's here are the other team, and our team are the letters. So LW is left wing, LD is le left defense, RW right wing, RD is right defense, and so on. So... What we're going to do is always have three players in front of our net. So the puck is on the left winger and left defense side. So the right winger and right defense are saying, Oh, the puck is not on my side. I should be in the train tracks. And they are. And the center is a helper. So he's right there. He's ready to go help the left defense get control of the puck if necessary. So let's see what happens if the other team player that has the puck shoots the puck around behind the boards and we'll see how we change positions. Puck comes around. Right winger and right defense say, hey, puck's on, on our side now. We need to go get it. Left defense and left winger says, hey, the puck is not on my side, so I need to get into the train tracks. And the center just moves around to the other side that the puck's on, and he's looking to see if he needs to come in and help as the helper or if the right defense can get it up the boards to the right winger. So that arrow's a pass. So let's say that the right defense shoots the puck up the boards to the right winger because we always break out of our zone along the boards. So as we move the puck forward, we get up into the neutral zone. So once we've started up into the neutral zone, again, we're going to need a, a player, two players in the train tracks. So let's see how this works when we move the puck forward. The right winger skates it up along the boards. Center and the left winger are moving up along, spreading out so they can become passing options. And we have a center and the left defense in, in the train tracks. And the left winger is almost there as well. So one thing that happens a lot is when the right winger gets pressured from that that other player in the neutral zone, he'll tend to just shoot it up the boards, and then if the other team player gets it, he'll shoot it back, and it goes back and forth. So let's talk about that a little bit. We want to get through the neutral zone by passing quickly. So the fastest way to get it through the neutral zone is to pass. So instead of that right winger, like I just said, shooting it up the boards when he gets pressured, what we need to do every time we're in the neutral zone along the boards with the puck and we're getting pressured is to look out to the train tracks. Now this right winger, he can pass it out to the center. So let's see how this works when we do that. Right winger passes out to the center. Look at the other team. They all swarm around that puck. Now the center, maybe he can skate through into the other team's end or maybe he can pass the dotted line over to the left winger. The left winger looks open, so let's say we do that. Now the left winger has the puck, and we're getting closer to the other team's end. So let's say the left winger shoots the puck in. Let's see how we move forward into the offensive zone. When we're in the offensive zone, we have two players attacking the puck. We always have two bulldogs going in there right after the puck to get it. 
and we're going to need two players in the train tracks when we get into that other end as well. So let's see what happens. The left winger shoots it in. He goes right in after it, and the center goes in to help him out. Look where the right winger and the right defense go. They go in the train tracks. Why? Because the puck is not on their side. The left defense, he's kind of hanging around off the boards, making sure that he can keep the puck in if it happens to come out. Now, just like we were in, the, in our own end when the puck came around the other side, we're going to see what happens when the puck comes around the other side and the other team's end. Always making sure that when the puck is not on your side, you're in the train tracks. So let's watch how the players move. I've taken the other team out so we can see this more clearly. So the puck comes around to the other corner. Right winger goes in and attacks the puck. Left winger says, I got to get into the train, train tracks. Center goes over to help the right winger because we have two guys on the puck and the other team's in. And the left D and the right D move over. So look, we've got two players in the train tracks. We're doing a great job. So remember, the train tracks are our guide to where we should be on the ice when the puck is not on our side. They're a guide. If the puck happens to come out close to you and it's not, it comes across the ice, it's not on your side, don't worry about getting out of the train tracks. Go get the puck if you're the closest player to it. Now I hope this helps all players who spend time with it to better understand the game and where they should be on the ice. For novice age players, this is an important tool to teach positioning, passing, passing lanes, trust in your teammate, and how to perform your role on the team. And it'll help build your hockey IQ. This is a basic positioning model, and it's a foundation upon which we can build uh, the lessons of team play. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you on the ice.